Is your guy not happy right now? Are you kind of worried that he might not be happy with your relationship? Well, this is a common issue for women. After all, you want to make him feel loved, but men have different needs than women do. And I'm here to tell you today how to make your boyfriend happy, for real. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. Welcome back to the dating and relationship secrets you need to know. Many people enter into a relationship in the hopes that it's going to make them happy. Now, of course, if you're not happy to begin with, a relationship is just going to make you extra unhappy. Because not only will you be looking in the wrong place, you're also very likely to project blame on somebody who just doesn't deserve it. Now, maybe you see one of these, you've seen one of these relationships before, haven't you? Or you've been in one of them? The truth is that men are very easy to make happy. Some women think it's as easy as giving him sex all the time. I won't lie, this is a necessary part of the recipe, but let's get that out of the way first. Now, if there is a block or an issue with your life in the bedroom, you got to fix that right away. There is no amount of other stuff that you can do that's going to make up for not having a fulfilling physical intimacy with your man. Now, sometimes there is trauma involved. Maybe you have some previous experience of abuse. Maybe he has some sexual dysfunction. Whatever the reason may be, you got to address it. No matter, no matter what, you got to address it. You can't escape it no matter how hard you try, which might be why you're here right now. So go get that taken care of. Don't pretend that it's going to go away or that you can cover it up because you can't. Now, if your relationship is going through a rough patch and you're not sure if he's happy with you, you are right to look for a solution. And it's good you found this video. The best way to make sure that he stays in the relationship is to make sure that he is happy with the relationship. First, here are a couple of don'ts. Number one, don't let him walk all over you. No woman ever had a successful relationship where this was her strategy, letting her be walked all over. It doesn't work for anybody, okay? And you definitely don't want a man who will what, let you walk over him too. There are healthy boundaries in a relationship and these are a must. Number two, don't pretend you like something if you don't or agree with something if you don't agree with it. If you start molding your personality to fit what he likes, you're already going down the wrong path. This one should be pretty obvious, but sometimes we get into bad relationship habits. Maybe you're in a low period of your teenage years and you desperately want acceptance. Maybe then you give in or concede and you give up something about yourself to get approval from a guy. And you notice that uh, this actually works at first, but not later on. Now the problem is that when it's finally later on, you don't really see the connection to how you did this in the past and got into the habit. So speak up for yourself, okay? Be willing to disagree with him from time to time. The irony here is that men appreciate this much, much more. The women that men chase always put themselves first. Number three don't is don't overthink things. Again, part of you may be worried about losing his interest, so you spend countless hours trying to figure out how to keep him. In reality, the women that men chase almost never really care about keeping a guy all that much. They're just too busy getting on with their lives. They know that they live in a life of plenty, okay? She's not selfish. She just knows that if she doesn't put herself first, no one else is going to. And if she does put herself first, he will too. Oh, and number four don't, don't use sex as a bargaining chip. Never withhold physical affection out of resentment and never let your man think that you consider sex a chore. If he senses this, he's gone. Okay, let's get to the healthy ways to make your boyfriend happy. First tip here is to compliment him. Yeah, the trick here is to compliment him though on something that he's not used to being complimented on. You gotta pick something that he hasn't heard all the time. For example, tell him that you admire how he problem solves and he manages to get to a solution. This sounds kind of weird and almost kind of dorky, but every guy is going to appreciate this because guys are problem solvers. But there really is an important reason that I'm including this one in the list, even though you've heard it a thousand times before. Hey, before I get to that reason, if you're struggling right now with your relationship, you probably need help. Don't just randomly search the internet hoping that an answer is just going to pop up. What you need is a plan. I spent years creating a foolproof plan for getting men to desire you, committed to you, and loving you. And I hold your hand through the whole process to make sure you get what you want from him. The best place to get started on the path to success in your relationship is here. Datingfire.com forward slash help me Carlos. That's datingfire.com forward slash help me Carlos. Go find out what's holding you back from the relationship you want. Don't wait until he breaks up with you. Do it now. 
Okay, now the real reason that I'm including this tip to compliment your man is because if you're not complimenting him right now, paying him compliments, that is probably the problem. Here's what happens. Number one, you get involved with a guy who seems really awesome. Number two, you hook up and you start dating. Number three, you become boyfriend and girlfriend. Number four, after a while, you sense that maybe you didn't choose as well as you could have. Number five, now he seems inadequate, but you still want to make the relationship work since you are now emotionally invested. You don't want to throw that out, right? Well, don't get stuck in a relationship that doesn't work just because you don't know how to get out of it. You can never get out of the wrong relationship too soon. And the sooner you do, the sooner you find the man that's meant for you. Sounds kind of logical, doesn't it? Believe me, it works. Tip number two is be supportive. Very often, it can be hard to support someone that isn't doing what you would like them to be doing. In fact, it's pretty difficult. If you feel like he should be spending more time getting a serious job than pursuing his art, well, you're probably going to find it difficult to be supportive of his art, right? But that isn't his fault. That's your fault for choosing somebody who has a hobby or a career path that you don't like or want. But if you really get down to it, it's not that you don't like it or want it. It's because you have an itch to make him into someone that you accept. The trick of love is that you must always be accepting whatever you get. It doesn't mean that you have to have a long-term relationship with him, but if you resist what is, you can never be happy. You can only ever be unhappy. So start out by choosing the man you really want right, off the, right at the start, instead of trying to mold him into it. Tip number three, celebrate him. Celebrate everything you find unique about him. Give him positive affirmation and public applause. You should always be there to celebrate his victories and celebrate him. Tip number four is to get active. No, I don't mean exercise, although that couldn't hurt either. What I mean is that you must always be actively engaged with him, especially active listening. Listen to him when he's talking. Give him a reason to want to come to you, to talk to you, and to vent to you. Listen to him without giving him any advice. Be his confidant. Don't share his secrets. And for, please, for God's sakes, Put your cell phone down when you're interacting with him and ask him to do the same thing for you, okay? Tip number five is to participate in his geeky interests. If he wants to go to Comic-Con, go with him. Don't refuse him or wrinkle your nose at what is important to him. Remember that he's always projecting your behaviors out another 40 or 50 years in his lifespan. He's always wondering if he wants what you have to offer for that long. Tip number six is to be independent. And by independent, I mean don't cling and don't be needy. I wish I didn't have to repeat this one as much as I do, but I do. If you are even a little bit suspicious that you might be clingy, or if you know you're a little bit clingy, go get that anxiety taken care of right away, right now, immediately. Figure out if your anxiety is a lack of knowledge about how men function, or an anxiety for something you haven't healed from your own past. Push this guy away every so often. Go make him do his own thing. The women that put up a little bit of resistance to having men around, very often they find that he wants nothing more than to be near you. So if you resist him always being near you, the funny thing is, it's kind of like old, the old reverse psychology. He's going to want to be with you. A man knows that a woman who pushes him away doesn't need him and probably won't get needy. I don't mean pushing away in a mean way either. I mean, just send him off to do his own guy things from time to time. Make sure he gets time with his friends. Oh, and if you're the jealous type, go get that handled. Jealousy is not healthy. It's not normal, no matter what you have been told by anybody else, okay? It's always a function of your fear of, what? Scarcity, that you're gonna run out of a guy's love, okay? The next one is the secret sauce. Tip number seven, ask him. I know, crazy, right? But just ask him what he's experiencing in your relationship. Most women never ask their boyfriends if he's happy, and they just assume that he is. Most often they do this because they're afraid of hearing an answer that they won't like, aka denial. It's always easier to pretend, isn't it? Until he breaks up with you and because you really weren't paying attention to him. Keep the communication open and ask him what he would like to make an even happier relationship. Men don't leave women who do this thing, okay? Who simply ask him what he needs. Most often, women simply don't know how to connect with their man. If you keep the connection alive, he will be happy. Look, I'm not just smoking, blowing smoke here. I've got many years of experience being a guy and being a man in both good and bad relationships 
relationships. So you can trust me when I tell you that the women I felt connected to, I never wanted to leave. If you want to learn how to create that kind of unshakable, unbreakable connection, go watch this video right now. Go to datingfire.com forward slash connection. That's datingfire.com forward slash connection. You only have to learn it once and you know it forever. datingfire.com forward slash connection. Hey, of course, if you're new here, or even if you're not, do the big three right away. Number one, like and subscribe. Get this, these videos every week. Number two, turn on notifications. Click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can get notified when the next one comes out or whatever service you're watching this video on, just subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, please share. I give away all this great info. All I need is for people to find me. Let other women know that I'm out there to give you this good information. And number three, comment below. Did you agree with these tips? Is there a video you want? Leave me a comment below if you want a part two or if there's another video you want to see. And don't forget, wait a few more seconds. I'm going to put a recommended video right up here in the corner for you to click. This is Carlos Cavallo. As always, live and love with passion.